Right, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to the GD and Sun channel. Hope everyone's having a great day. So today we are going to be running a load of non-ferrous down. As you can probably tell by the look of me, I've actually finished for the day. I've been having some serious problems with the GoPro. Um, I do apologise if it's a bit windy out here uh, and that's affecting the audio. But yeah, I kind of lost my intro. I tried showing you what I had on the van. Also went to the scrapyard and set up on a tripod and lost the footage for that. I think the heat has been having a... Um, making it sort of difficult to film. Um, I'm not sure if that's been corrupting the files at all, uh, but I'm pretty sure I recorded an intro, but it's just not on there. So anyway, what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna talk you through, I've got some footage. Um, basically, I'm just gonna talk you through what we had on. I'm gonna try and put a picture on screen now. This is the um, thumbnail picture. So I just wanna explain, we had some copper, we had some brass, I had some aluminium, some stainless steel, and we had a pallet of motors and also there was a few little bits on there that was irony and um, that's pretty much what we had plus a little bit of mixed iron now i took all that down today as i say i did try filming it all um, but it didn't actually go to plan so i've got some footage um, i'm gonna roll with the footage that i've got um, i do apologize once again but i hope you enjoy the footage that i did manage to shoot uh, let's get on with the video right let's get this unloaded a lot of footage on the last bit I'll explain a bit more in a minute Off. Right, I've just pulled over everyone to go and grab a bit of diesel. I uh, just want to apologise. I put the camera on a tripod uh, on top of the van when I was unloading my non-ferrous items. And yeah, I don't know. I, I, I just pressed the button and left it. And then I just unloaded everything. I had to pull into a parking space and wait for about 15 minutes or so until I could unload my mixed iron. And I just noticed that the red light wasn't flashing to say it's recording and I hadn't pressed the button to stop it So I got the camera down checked it and yeah for some reason It's just like it was dead like the battery wasn't like registering So I had to take the battery out put the battery back in and it seemed to fire back up So yeah, unfortunately I lost all that footage of me unloading the mixed iron. I was gonna do like a little voiceover uh, thing for you. So yeah, do apologize. I'm glad I showed you at the beginning So I didn't add anything to it. There was one sink that wasn't stainless, it went in as an irony alley. 
um, and yeah, that was it really. The basin was stainless, but I just couldn't separate the basin from the actual sink sink itself. Um, so yeah, I just chucked it all in there, it's eye in the alley. The rest of it was all stainless. So anyway, I'm just gonna run quickly with you through the prices. So the yellow bucket of brass we had, I say there was a little bit of copper attached to the brass, but nothing major. That was 21 kilos at three pounds 60 per kilo for 75 pound and 60 pence heavy copper which was the cylinder that was filled up with copper um, that was a big payday that was 41 kilos of heavy copper at 5,800 pound which is five pound 80 per kilo 237 pound and 80 pence now that has dropped slightly but it's still higher than what it usually is um last time i took it in it was 6,000 a ton um so it's dropped by like 20p per kilo um, so yeah, not a massive amount, um, but yeah, still an amazing price that. Um, stainless steel, uh, 18, 18, 18 eighth. Oh, I think that's just a, this type of stainless, yeah. Um, 32 kilos at 1,000 a ton, which is one pound a kilo, is 32 pound. Electric motors, now this one really shocked me. Um, 600 pound a ton for electric motors. Serious? Is that right? Must be right. Uh, yeah, I couldn't believe it. Basically, I put it on that pallet, and they was well chuffed with that. They was like, oh, yeah, saves us unloading it. Um, so, yeah, the pallet was, um, I think, 236 kilos. I'm not sure if they deducted that as well. So the pallet was 14 kilos, basically. That's what how much it weighed. So they weighed the pallet off at the end. Um, Give me 141 pound and 60p. So that was like 60 pence per kilo of motors, basically. It's just unreal. I can't believe, you know, all them little motors you get out of washing machines, transformers, you know, chuck it all in. £600 a tonne, amazing. Um, aluminium, that was all spread down one side. That was uh, 100 and, 125, no, I don't know what that other top bit is, deduction all about. Shouldn't be any deductions on there, but, but um, yeah, anyway. Eight, uh, 85 pence a kilo, £850 a tonne, give me £106.25p. Irony Alley, which was obviously there was a few of them chairs on there they took as irony. Um and the uh little step thing which I said uh, they might take because of the bolts in it, they took that as irony and the sink. Um only 18 kilos, 270 pound a ton, four pound and eighty-six pence. And the rest of it went as shearing. Um it was actually quite big stuff. It was the it was the uh, stuff that the motors came out of for the fans. So big like industrial fan units. Um, I had like four or five of them on, uh, plus a few other little bits of, you know, it was actually light iron inside, but um, yeah, most of the majority of it was shearing. So 200 uh, kg, 220 a ton, 44 pound. So that gave me, I had a total weight of 673 kg. Bear in mind, only 200 kg of that was, um, only 200 kg that was actually shearing so the rest of it was all all mixed so nearly half a ton i think um 642 pound and 11 pence for a tuesday morning after the bank holiday 642 pound so it just goes to show make some good connections doing scrap keep your ears to the ground you know try and keep people happy and you know you can succeed in this game I mean, um, I've got, you know, nowhere near as many contacts as some people, um, and I still can manage to make a good living out of this, you know. I could make just a good living out of scrapping. Um, like Vandal said, there's no money in scrap, so, you know, don't even bother, stay at home. Um, you know, yeah, just just uh, do your own thing. <laughs> but no, um, no, seriously, if, you, if you're going to do it, as I say, yes, mixed iron is going to be your bread and butter. You're always going to find that outside people's houses, but if you can make some connections with plumbers, um, you know gas engineers electrical engineers anything like that, you know try and keep people sweet You know give them a drink every now and again um, You know you will go far in this game. So uh, yeah, anyway Pretty much speaks for itself. I'm going to shoot around and go and get a drink now Luckily, I can save this video today because I've got a couple of waste removal jobs to go and do um, I potentially have four but I don't think I'm going to get all four done today due to the weather being so hot. I think I'm just going to try and do a couple today and then a couple tomorrow. Um, two of them are for family, just let me clear that up so I'm not like messing people about. Um, yeah, two are for family. One is just scheduled on for uh, whenever I can do it. It could be today, it could be the end of the week, just whenever he said. It's not um, a job where I need to have someone there. I can just walk in and grab the stuff. And the other one is actually scheduled for tomorrow. Um, 
so I'm not actually going to do that one today but if I had chance I could just pop around there she is home uh, you know she's obviously um, indoors all the time I think so I can go around there whenever I want I just said probably when Wednesday would be the better day because I knew I was a bit busy today so anyway rambling is over I'm gonna head to the co-op grab a drink and then let's get this day under the oh this is a good run let's get this day under the way boom that's my saying vandal trademark right so here's the first lot going on uh, I'm gonna put out any metal I can find obviously um, for scrap put that towards the front if possible um, yeah a lot of wood down the bottom there and then just a few black sacks and that so yeah, hopefully it won't take too long. Uh, get you set up on a pole now and uh, let's get loaded up. Right, so here we are, first job of the day. Now this was only for my uncle, so um, I didn't charge him uh, a great deal of money, you know, just what it's going to cost me to get rid of it, uh, plus a little drink for myself just for the time uh, it's going to take me to load it and unload it. So yeah, really gutted with today's um, footage actually. As I say, I filmed a, an intro uh, where I showed you all what was on the back of the van, talked you through it a little bit, and um, you know, filmed down at the scrapyard and was going to do a voiceover very similar to this, you know, just explaining what we was unloading at the time and weights and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, and just lost all the footage. I don't really know quite what happened, but I know I watch um, a lot of E-Waste Ben and um, yeah, he has some trouble uh, over in Melbourne. Uh, with the heat on the GoPro, so maybe it's something to do that. So yeah, this was just mainly uh, broken down shed and um, you know household bits. So basically the contents of a shed, you know, old paint pots and stuff you'd have lying around. So I didn't throw all that stuff on that I'm just moving now because they were like the paint pots and um, like bottles that are filled up with stuff. I didn't want them leaking all over the van. So just loading on all the little bits. It wasn't actually that much metal uh, apart from that bench. That bench there, you just see me breaking up. That had. Um, cast iron bits on it so i decided to break that up so that i had um the cast iron separated from the wood uh, these fence panels were a little bit hard to manage um, but the fact that i could get quite close to it you know they weren't really heavy they were just more awkward than anything uh, but yeah they've got it all loaded on it's quite happy actually I'd, I'd managed to get quite a lot of space at the front because i have one more job to go and do plus i've got a load of rubbish at my house that needs sorting we uh, had a mouse in our loft and um, had to uh, set some traps and bring all the stuff out the loft so we had a good sort out so I've got my own rubbish to get rid of uh, yeah just like pretty much finishing up there's a few black sacks still to go at the front um, obviously yeah this cast iron I'll try and keep it uh, at the back separated because I'll take it off at my house and um, we will put that with our metal pile so ready for the next scrap run that we're going to be doing uh, yeah, this old wood bench, another bit of wood, uh, get that loaded on. As I say, we are pretty much done now. I think this is it, just going to be loading me stuff back on the truck, get the tailboard done up, and uh, we're ready to go to the next job. Right, everyone, just got back to my house now. I'm not sure what's going on with the GoPro today. Um, I think it might be something to do with the heat. I know I watch a lot of E-Waste Ben, and um, he's out in Australia or Melbourne or something like that. Melbourne, Melbourne. Melbourne, yeah, um, and he said that his GoPro keeps shutting down because of the heat and I, I got to the last job and I spent like 10 minutes trying to get it going um, but the job would only take me about 10 minutes doing so uh, I'll fiddle around with it for a little while taking the battery in and out, change the battery uh, it still wouldn't turn on but it was really hot it's sitting up on the dash um, and it was like red hot so I just chucked it to one side in the shade uh, done the job, I'm going to put some pictures on the screen now for you somewhere uh, it's just a bin shed filled up, well say filled up, there's just a few little bits and pieces down the side uh, Cleared that, we've done this one once before for the gentleman, no doubt we'll be doing it again later on down the line That's pretty much it, so yeah we've got two more jobs to do tomorrow One of them is for the mother-in-law um, and the other one is for a friend of ours So I'll get them two done tomorrow, I'll probably drop this off, go and pick the rubbish up tomorrow and then drop it off maybe i don't know the day after i'm not sure i'm just sort of playing it by ear. we've had such a good week so far with um with the non-ferrous run that we've done today that i'm not really stressing too much about going out scrapping and getting things done like this will bring in a little bit of income it's not going to be major but as i say we've already got that massive amount of income that's coming in not into our bank so yeah just want to say if you did like today's video i know it wasn't very long i do apologize but please smash the like button for me because you know that helps your boy out support the channel 
subscribe if you're not already subscribed because I'm going to be bringing out loads more videos. And also, I love you all, and I'll see you all on the next video. So take care, everyone.